all right welcome to skinny tv on youtube once again let's take the latest news coming in from the ghana black stars ghana black queens then we also talk about kudus mohammed what is the latest coming in manchester united are now in the race to sign mohammed kudus i have the latest news for you on this channel we also look at ghana black galaxies they are still in algeria they are set to play two friendly games I have the details and more on this channel for you before we delve into the details consider giving us a like after that make sure you smash and subscribe button you put on the bell for more updates on this channel leave your comments it is very very necessary i'll be giving you a shout out in my next video so let's begin now before then we are all waiting for the ghana football association to officially name the next coach for the ghana black stars because after World Cup 2022 we are yet to even know the next coach for black stars We've heard names like Thomas Senfe. We have also heard names like Thomas Tukel, of which I don't think is going to be possible. Well, let's wait and see how things will go. A lot of names, the likes of Chris Hitting himself, then George Boati and the others are all coming in as the next coach. But GFA has officially appointed Nora Hopsel. Yes, this woman you are seeing here on your screen is now the current coach for Ghana Black Queens. Someone may ask, who is Nora Hopsel? Yes, she's not new to the system yes because she was appointed um you know as the black princess's technical advisor and um around 2020 so she actually knows ghana very well and she has been around so nora hopter has been appointed as black queen's coach and um, she's going to be assisted by boate abuache to assist him as the next coach for the Ghana Black Queens. Nora Hopter has been appointed as the head coach of the senior women's national team. And um, we also have to actually talk about her a little. She's a 39 year old former Swiss international and she is also a product of Bern and um, University of Bern, where she attained her master's in sports sciences. She's also a bachelor of philosophy and minor in theater sciences. Nora holds um, you know, a UEFA Pro Lines certificate and she has previously worked as an instructor for the Swiss Football Association. She holds other um, diploma certificates such as UEFA Mentorship from Powell. Then she also has worked with the likes of Brighton and Hope Albion. She continued to study at CAS and she has a lot of records that we can talk about. She's a former footballer for the Swiss national team. She played for BSC Young Boys, FFC Zuchwe. She also continued to play for FC20. Then she played for FC Thun and the Swiss national team between 1996 and 2010. So from 2009 to 2012, she was the coach of FC Thun and later worked as a conditioning coach for tennis player, and that is Romina Oprandi. So Nora previously worked with Israeli Football Association as head coach and women's director for the national team. And she has also, um, you know, has stint with other, you know, um, works at the German uh, women Bundesliga and a lot. So she has a lot of experience and she will be assisted by Joyce Boate, um, AJ and Abuaje da Costa. Boate is also a physical education tutor and coach of Kumasi Girls Senior High School and a former coach of Girls Under 20 National Team. So Abuaje da Costa is a former player of Asante Koroko and head coach of Women's Premier League club side Ashton Ladies in Kumase and the Black Queens will soon move to camp to begin preparations towards 2024 Women's Africa Cup of Nation qualifiers and the third edition of Waffle Zombie Women's Cup of Nations in 2023 that is in March and April this year so now the next coach for the Ghana Black Queens is official Nora Hoptel is going to be the next coach so let me know what you think about this in the comment section now let's talk about Kudus Mohammed yes Kudus Mohamed is a player who plays for Ayas in the um, that is the Dutch Eredivisie, and he has been a target for many clubs. Manchester United are exploring options to sign Mohamed Kudus from Ayas this month. The Manchester United, um, you know, Evening News have actually reported this. The Ghana striker um, or as attacker was being in live wire for Ayas in the opening. Uh, on the ongoing Dutch season. Kudus replicated the same form at the 2022 World Cup in Qatar where he scored two goals and grabbed an assist to his name despite Ghana's early elimination from the tournament. He has been linked to Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, 
Borussia Dortmund, Everton, and other top European clubs. And um, but according to the report, Manchester United are exploring beefing up their forward options with the Ghana International. Manchester United are exploring the prospects of signing Ayah striker Mohamed Kudus in month, um, you know, transfer window this particular January. That's according to the report. The rest are determined to add to their forward options after the end of the month and are being linked with several possible targets. Kudus worked with United manager Eric Ten Hag during the um, time at Ayas. The report claims that Manchester United are yet to make an official offer for the Ghana International, though talks behind the scene have been held. And the report also added that Eric Ten Hag, who is the manager of Premier League side, signed Kudus from FC Nordland and because of that, he has some kind of say in Kudus actually managing himself in the next club. So scoring 10 goals in all competition for Ayas and also scoring some two goals in the World Cup, Kudus has been a hot kick in the transfer news. Now, finally, let's talk about Ghana Black Galaxies. Yes, the Black Galaxies are currently based in Algeria and they are preparing for the next Chan tournament, which is going to begin this January 10th. The team will tomorrow play against Algeria. That's a friendly game which is going to happen at the Nelson Mandela Stadium. And on Monday, um, that is, um, is it January 10th? Yes, the team will play our second friendly game. Our first game in the tournament will be against, I think, Madagascar. Yes, so Ghana will play against Algeria tomorrow. Then on Monday, Ghana will play against Mozambique as two friendlies. Then on January 15th, Ghana will play our first game in the tournament. That is Chan 20. 23 against Madagascar. So, what are your expectations? Do you think that the Ghana team can actually do something in this year's, um, you know, Chan tournament? The team played two friendly games in Egypt before actually moving or departing to Algeria. They first of all beat um, Egypt under 20 side two goals to now, and they continue to beat Al Ali by three goals to one. All the players are fit. There is no injury at camp. The coaches, everyone today was excited at the training grounds and i say that uh, i think that uh, the team will actually do well this time around many are saying that this is the team that can do well for ghana so let's wait and see how things will go what are your expectations let me know it in the comment section don't forget to like the video subscribe put on the bell for more updates on this channel this was kenny tv and of course we shall meet later